Hello and welcome back to Rosalie's Corner. I have been wanting to film this video for like the past week and tomorrow is Valentine's Day so I'm really 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 leaving it to the last minute like I'm not even kidding. It is almost 10 o'clock before Valentine's Day and I have not even sorted out Chris's presents or card or anything. So I thought you and I could do a little what I got Chris for Valentine's Day and then I might merge this footage with whatever we do tomorrow. I think tomorrow we're gonna go see Mean Girls in the cinema which I'm excited for. I've literally tried to avoid as many spoilers as possible. So anyway, I thought we could just get his stuff ready together. So, Doo -doo -doo -doo. oh, Doo -doo -doo -doo. what have we got? So the first thing we've got is this. Now before, <laughs> Before I get into this, you're gonna be like, why have you hyper fixated on a certain theme for this Valentine's? Because last year I got Chris <laughs> this mouse mat of us. And then I also got it as a keychain as well. So that was really good. And then I think I got I got him a Nintendo game as well. This year we're doing something a bit different. We're going with a theme. He's downstairs, so I need to like not be too loud. Chris is a coffee fanatic. Like I'm when I met him, he was a hot chocolate guy. He was not interested in coffee. I just he didn't like the flavour of it. I don't know. Anyway. One day, all of a sudden, he likes coffee. <laughs> and now he's really interested in coffee. He really enjoys like grinding the beans up. He really enjoys just brewing his own little pot for himself. He's got all the different bean types and stuff. So I thought I'd get him loads of little coffee bits to go with his little setup. They are both ours, but I primarily use just like the pod Nespresso machine. And then he likes to use the actual like, you know, tamp the beans down. <laughs> Do really bad. Tamp the beans down, all that stuff. So I got some things. So the first thing I got is this. Do I want to break this or do I want to give it to him like this? Oh, maybe I should. Oh, come a little brush. Maybe I'll keep it like this instead of ripping it. Because I got everything off Amazon, so I'll just put like the photo of what I got. Yeah. But essentially, it's what you put the coffee thing into. There's a divot bit here, and you can put the coffee thing in it, so you can do it on the edge of the table for a more balanced thing. I don't know if he'll really use this. He probably won't. But I just thought it was really cute. I got him a milk thermometer. I've always wanted to be the YouTuber that does like reviewing things. I really like this one. We've got a couple of these similar thermometers that we've not used. He doesn't really know the best way to throw up milk temperature wise. You can hold the side of it until it gets hot because we use oat milk. We don't know exactly how hot it is, but this literally gives you, I mean, it tells you right there, that red bit, like where the thermometer needs to hit for it to be hot to drink, I guess. So, and I have like a really handy clip thing for the side as well. So I thought that's quite profesh. I think he'll really enjoy that one. He's probably gonna say, we've already got two of them at home. Why'd you buy another one? But I like it because it's got a red thing on it. This looks really weird. I really want to take all these things out. Yeah, I think I'll take them all out, right? So what this one is, I don't really know how you should just do things. I don't need scissors for this. I have a very comprehensive uh, desk setup and I don't know where my scissors are. This is quite sweet. Earlier Chris asked me to be his Valentine's and it seems he stole the scissors on his desk to make a heart. That was so cute. Look at that. Oh, okay. That's, that's pretty sweet. There's so much plastic. I don't think the world needs this much plastic. Anyway, you're probably like, what is this? And what has this got to do with coffee? <gasps> oh, look at that focus. This is everything I think I've ever dreamed of being. Look at that. Da -da -da. Oh, you unscrew it. Ooh. When you have coffee grounds in the thing that I showed you earlier, you put the little prongs in it and then you like mix them around so they don't all lump together. I thought that was pretty cool. It's like having a lipstick or something. Right, there's that. Next, is this, is this the last thing I bought him? Yes. Everything feels more professional when you've got like a focus on a camera. I actually can't remember what this is. I only ordered this like, what, two days ago? Oh, okay, right. So when Chris is scooping up his coffee and putting it into that metal thing, the coffee grounds kind of disperse or they don't funnel nicely into it. So I ordered a actual funnel 
piece and he can clip it onto hopefully i mean i checked the measurements online so this should be the right fit because there were so many different types he can literally just clip that on top and it should be metallic magnetic it's magnetic so it should just clip on and then it funnels and it's easier to put things in i don't know i just want to support his career in coffeeing so we've got this we got this we've got the milk thermometer and we got this thing which you can't really see but i think it's better to keep it in the plastic for now right that's that bit sorted and then we have he said he really liked the dark linden chocolates once so i just got him his own entire box i think he'll like it i think he'll be happy it's his own box for him i guess um and then i got him a very cute little bag to put it in and then to fill it out which i also might just keep this for like scrapbooking and stuff i got this really cute tissue paper glove parts on it i think it's really sweet that all go in the bag and i think he's unpacked most of it that leads me to believe that he's definitely seen the card so that's really lovely for me i got him this card yes it says husband on it don't don't, don't even worry look there's no ring on this finger and it has the eiffel tower on it because we literally just came back from paris like last week so i thought that would be a cute card and then when i was in card factory i saw this card and i thought that was so sweet like the detailing on it is like that that reflection is so sweet i don't know i don't, don't i'm not gonna give this to anyone i think i'm just gonna keep it for like i don't know maybe for chris in four years time if i find it and then i saw this one as well and i thought that one was really cute but uh, i'm not gonna give those to him i'll just put them in my drawer and i will discover them at another point in time so what i need to do is i need to write his card i need to put all the things into the gift bag i'm so bummed that he's definitely seen my card but it's fine you can't see me <laughs> but i've got some wrapping paper and we're just going to wrap up a few little things to put them into the bag normally i do better at wrapping but uh, today is not one of those days I don't know if this is the same setup that I had earlier, but it's gonna have to do for now. Whilst I wrap, I thought I would just chat to you a little bit because this is my first kind of official video on this channel. Because most people would probably sit and do their makeup and chat, but I am not one of those people. So instead, we can sit here together and chat whilst I wrap these presents. I went to university today and I was thinking, oh, maybe I should vlog my day. So I brought my camera with me to uni and I didn't use it once. So that was definitely worth the bag space in my rucksack. The problem with my university is that I don't live on campus. I live a little bit further away. So I always have to commute and I haven't made any meaningful friendships. There's one guy friend I made friends with at the beginning of when I started, but he's not in any of my classes anymore. So I haven't actually got anyone to speak to and that can become quite isolating. And I'm in my third year now. Making friendships now was somehow worse than when I first started out because everyone's already made their friendship groups. And even though I kind of know of people and like try speak to people or whatever, you know you're not prioritized. Like I walked into the classroom today expecting to sit with someone I sat with last week because she was surrounded surrounded by other friends of hers, which is fine. But in my brain, I wasn't prepared to not sit with her. So when I walked into that classroom, it was really scary. Like my heart was like, like the introvert in me and the anxiety was just like flaring up. And I mean, I got through the session and it was fine. I didn't really speak to anyone throughout it. Like it was a very lonely lesson, to be honest. And it was from 11 till like five o'clock with like a total of an hour and a half in between. So at least like five hours spent with these people and it wasn't good i mean like the teacher's lovely and the lesson is fine but i wish i had someone at uni oh do i not 
I cut this too small again? I've cut this piece of paper short twice in a row. I wish I had someone at uni the same way I had like a best friend throughout high school. Nothing compares to having like that one or two friends. Like I don't need a friendship group. Nothing compares to just having someone have your back all the time. One of my best friends lives in my hometown, but my hometown is not where I live. I have to make time for those important friendships. Otherwise, I have no friendships. Like I've got my boyfriend and obviously I love him because I'm wrapping <laughs> this at 10 o'clock at night. But it's not the same as like having time with friends, I don't know. I guess this is why I'm kind of doing this channel as well because I know what it's like to be lonely. I know what it's like to feel isolated. And I guess I just want to create a space for other people to just sit and chat like we're having a conversation. Even if I'm a little bit awkward sometimes. I think that's just the nature of it. But I'm trying my hardest and I think I'll get better as time goes on. I've always loved filming and speaking to the camera. I don't think I struggle with that. I struggle with that, you know. What am I going to do with this channel is the real question. I don't know. Like I said in my introductory video, I literally just want to film and just make myself happy. I I went through such a horrible latter half of 2023. Back to the friendship thing. I want to get too into it, maybe one day, but it really shifted my world around in who you can call close friends and who kind of abuse the power of being your friend because people can say they're your friend and then they can really mess you up and they can really take advantage of you and make you feel horrible inside. But I thought I'd made a really close friend last year and I did for a period of time until that went up in flames and being stripped of what I perceived as a really close friendship at the time almost makes it more isolating than what it is because I'm in a town where I really don't have close friendships or I'm trying, it's not going very well. I got my boyfriend and I've got a cat, but I'm not near anyone that cares about me, that makes time for me. And only the people that know me know how tough life has actually been. And I do try and make my life look so incredibly perfect on Instagram. It is very scary to let people into your life and make friendships, for me now, especially after all the things I went through last year. And that's a lot of me with this channel. It's me just learning to speak my voice, make a connection, even if I'm speaking to no one, which I'm sure I am. Like, I know I see views come on these videos. Like my last video at the moment had like 25 views or something like that. And I've gained a few followers, which is like, lovely. I'm hoping it gives me more confidence to just speak. I don't want to be shy. I've been shy or I've been told I've been shy my whole life and we're working at it in therapy that being shy is not me. Like we know that I'm not shy. I am fully extroverted if I want to be. I just don't bother with people that don't give me fulfillment. And that's valid. I'm not gonna give my time to people that make me feel like at the bottom of their shoe. I like being prioritized. I like knowing where I sit in people's lives. And I'm starting to figure that out. And if I don't sit in people's lives the way I would like to, then that's not my problem. And that is what I'm learning. And I love learning that. I love learning that whatever I do is down to me, my actions and my choices. And then however people act towards me, that's their choices and I can't change that. And if someone is not prioritizing me in a friendship or whatever else it may be, then I don't have to try. Like I don't need to try. I think there's a big stigma around if you want something, you should go get it. And it's like, yes, but only if you know what you're wanting you are going to receive back. If you're putting 110% into a friendship, you should be met with that back. I don't know if you can see what I'm saying, but basically friendships are very hard for me and making connections are very hard for me. And I think I need this. I think this is a very long winded conversation. Oh, I still need to write the card. Ramble, ramble, ramble. Rapping does not normally take me this long. When I start talking, I ramble so much and it takes me so much longer to do anything. Oh my God, I'm gonna just set a light and a paper onto my candle over there. To summarize, uni was not a good time. Chris likes coffee and I have no friends. <laughs> it will be fine. Once I'm out of uni, I'm so excited to be done with it. Like I'm stressed, like with dissertation and like, it's not just a dissertation I have to do, like in the next three months, it's a dissertation plus two other units. 
video games and politics. I'm not really prepared to manage all of those. Um, but I know I'll get it done because I always do. Anyway, so now we've got the bag and I should write a little note on it. Do it in a cute little pink pen. I have so many pens to choose from. What much is the theme of the bag the best? This one? This pen? Or this pen. That's a nicer pink. Yeah, that pen. Or do we go with red because it's Valentine's? I could do both. There you go. There is my cute little cute little thing. And then oh, I really should have got the smaller bag. All the presents are gonna look so small in here now. You know what? My dream is to get some sort of brand deal one day. I don't know what the dream at Collab is, but we're gonna manifest that one day, maybe one day, some sort of brand will wanna work with me. Also, do you know what is happening? Speaking of Valentine's, it's now 10.40, so I've been doing this for like an hour. Tomorrow, or at midnight, Love Has Reversed, my song is gonna be released. I can't wait. I'm gonna play a snippet of it here. If we were in Eden, I'd seek the fruit for wisdom more. I know it wouldn't work out. That's well cool. I submitted it to BBC Radio Introducing and they listened to it and they didn't choose it for their broadcast. So that's the fourth time I've applied for BBC and they've not wanted me, which is fine. I know my type of music isn't really BBC worthy because it's not really pop music. I've got rips everywhere, but it's fine. We'll put that in there, put that in there, put that in there. I'm hoping I can, it's quite good with that one. It's like a little, it looks like a lipstick. And then I guess I'll just put the tissue paper in the top. This tissue paper is so sweet, look. What is the best way to do this? Oh, maybe I should put it all in the bottom. Yeah, okay, right, take everything out. And then that kind of looks like that. And then we'll put all the things in. Did you know it's pancake day today? Like, I've not even made pancakes yet. So even though it's late and I'm not actually hungry, I think after this, me and Chris are gonna go make pancakes. So I might show some of that. Now I've just like hidden everything. Right, now I've got to do my card. And then, I don't know about you, I don't really bother licking, I just like tuck it in there. I've got this really lovely gold look at that focus this really lovely gold sparkly pen which i like i did my, i did my christmas cards with it this year so i think it's just like my special card pen oh actually it comes up on the camera pretty well how sparkly that is yeah so that will go into the i've really like done pretty well about my times this year i think like i've got a gift bag and everything oh okay right now that is all out of the way with um pancakes let's go here is my pancake i have made here is my pancake i'm currently making this is chris for the first time on rosalia's corner hello rosalia's corner <laughs> i'm chris the ogs will remember me from veggies and cheese oh yeah definitely normally it bubbles more when it's done and flip nice. look, look at that rice quick 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 Cool. Well, that's us making pancakes. I'm putting some French, uh, not Nutella, onto my pancake. Mmm, that is a, you had a good pancake there. This one. I can remember why we ate 10 of these for breakfast in Disney. <laughs> Hello, it's me editing. I'm just popping in to say that that was the end of the video. Um, I do have some footage from actual Valentine's Day. It's not much, just a few clips. So I'm just popping in here to say goodbye and enjoy the rest of the footage. <laughs> that is a good pace.